President Biden signed a measure that would force railway workers to accept a deal that averts a strike but does not include paid sick leave. Why do you expect Biden to care about sick leave when he shows up to work every day with full-blown CTE? <laughs> Well, Saturday Night Live has taken aim at Joe Biden and has really gone for it. Within the skit show segment Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che, the president was seriously mocked. Michael Che opened the joke by introducing Joe Biden's recently signed bill. Biden signed a bill into law a few days ago that will make rail strike illegal, stopping workers from walking off the job ahead of the busy holiday season. Che joked, how do you expect him to care about sick leave when he shows up to work every day with full-blown CTE? CTE is short for chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which is a brain disorder brought on by too many knocks to the head. I mean, any mocking and criticism about Joe Biden's cognitive ability isn't new. The president is constantly copying backlash for his public gaffes. SNL was originally accused of showing political bias in the last few years as the show spent the four years of Donald Trump's presidency mocking him, but took a while to subject Joe Biden to the same airtime. They have, however, made up for lost time, targeting the easy victim of Joe Biden by mocking his numerous gaffes. Saturday Night Live actually roasted President Biden in another weekend update in October. Colin Jost poked fun at the president, who had recently made a blunder at a car factory in Maryland. <laughs> this week, President Biden pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users, and it feels like maybe he celebrated with them a little because yesterday, Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> wow, well, let me respond with two words. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> Colin Jost mocked Joe Biden's anger at reporters asking him questions. Biden was then heard criticizing reporters at the White House for shouting questions at him. Questions like, what year is it? And who's the current president? <laughs> also, they weren't reporters, they were doctors. <laughs>